What's going on guys, Rsplitter8 back here with another video and we are almost done with the unboxing Fiesta here and I have a special unboxing for you, two more unboxings to go, this is the second to last one and this is the light launcher with the long winder, <laughs> took me a long time to realize that, uh, here's the back of it, pretty basic, uh, it's just telling you how to rip how to launch and you can actually turn it it's a uh, free spinning that's cool and you can connect it with the uh, grip I have here and that's the back of it oh here's all the stats pretty cool I was gonna pick up another string launcher but I didn't because I already had one but uh, you never can be too careful uh, pro launcher oh no that's a light launcher pro launcher all one stars so Let's just get to the unboxing of this. And this was, oh, before I forget, 299.75 pesos, which is around $6 in US. And that's like worth a super grip launcher. So I highly recommend going to the Philippines if you guys want to buy a long winder, fairly cheap. All right, so there we go. There we have it. Just put this all out of the way. And here we go. We got the orange light winder or light wa launcher. <laughs> and oh, I'm kind of sad. I got a <laughs> pretty wobbly one. Not straight. Well, because I had to travel with it. But as you see here, it's free spinning. I'm trying to spin it. And it says long winder right here. And Wow, look at all those teeth. I'm not sure how how long this is. If I can find another box, but I doubt I'll find that because it's all in Japanese. But let's just put it in here, and that's pretty cool. Um, let's compare it to... This, and... A little difference. You see there, and let's compare it to the sword. Eee. Okay, I don't know where to start this. Okay, fairly close, almost there. And let me go grab a Hasbro winder really quick. Okay, so I finally got my Hasbro launcher here, and let's take out the ripcord and compare it to the long winder and wow pretty good pretty good um, I feel like it's almost almost longer than the Takatomi winder for a lot light launchers and this is from the super grip launcher right here and let's compare this together and as you see it is actually really close and if I don't recall um, in Blader Zyle's test it actually ranks second next to his long winder so it's pretty good launcher um, I think Hasbro launchers are actually pretty underrated I think the only reason people bash them is because the how it's hollowed out but come on it free spins that's the reason why it beats out all the other launchers but yeah Enough talking about Hasbro, and let's get to testing. Time to test the power of the long winder, and we are going to test it with stock combo Valtrek Wing XL. And let's get to this three, two, one, let rip. And that's very good considering the Hasbro version does not circle around that much compared with other launchers and I'll prove it to you right now with standard light launcher with the standard rip cord so three two one that rip can you see there it is not aggressive as a long winder so now let's head to test battle so if it wasn't obvious enough, you can obviously connect the light 
launcher and long winder with the launcher grip that I unboxed a few videos ago. And you can even switch out the color if you don't like orange. You can switch it to white. And there you go. But just for this video, I will be keeping the long winder in orange. And we are going to battle with Valtriac and Spryzen. So, Valtriac will be using the long winder and Spryzen will be using the normal light launcher. So, three, two, one, crit! Very hard shots from Valtriac. Who's gonna burst first? Do another big shot. And it looks like it's just a stamina battle, which is kind of sad. And Valtric lost. That kind of sucks it, because it was using the long winder. Now we are going to battle with Spryzen and Kerbeus. So Kerbeus will be using its light launcher that it came with in the set. And Spryzen with the long winder. So 3, 2, 1, that. A lot of power. Oh, but Spryzen got a burst. Its power was just deflected by Curbeus. And uh, central defense. And. Both battles, the long winder lost, but you know, still a great launcher for other bays that are actually good. And that is the end of the long winder unboxing. So, if you guys are interested in picking one up, I suggest you go to the Philippines and pick one up. And if you guys are curious what the next unboxing will be, and the last unboxing of this unboxing fiesta. Wild Wyvron, I saved the best for last, the one with the orbits, the one tip, for, I mean performance tip or driver that everyone uses, and that will be upcoming in the next video, so yeah, um, I like this launcher, I'll probably be using it a lot and with the sword launcher, so this will be Aris Wither 8, out, peace.